Hello there folks, we are back in San Bruno doing this relatively simple project. Uh, air conditioning unit. I think we've done about 50 of them uh, where we put it all back together. Jason is going to break it all out here while I do something else real important. And after he's breaking it, broke it out, I'm going to come back and we're going to lath it up. And I'll show you how we do these uh, two coats. Jay is a master at mixing it just right so I can slam it out real fast and float it while you watch. Doing the paper on something like this, here's there our existing paper. And we got this uh, electrical little box here. I didn't break out this, but I pried it open with a hammer. Fortunately, we got great paper on this, so we're slid way down in here. Now we take our new paper and we slide it under the existing paper. We, we lift it up sometimes with a hammer and just slide it up under. See, right now I've got about, about four, three, four inches under there. That's good. That way when the water goes through this, it lands on top of the existing paper, then lands on our new paper, and that's a waterproof finish. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do here is put another, another layer of wire on it because we're about an inch and a, about an inch and a half. Generally stuff goes about seven eighths of an inch, and I want it to hang and not droop, so I'm gonna put another one. And then I'll show you how easy it is with two uh, Double up wire. That way, with an um, inch and a half, we're not going to have any issues. I'll show it to you when we get ready to do it. Okay, guys, I got some really hot mud here. Look at this. That is hot mud. It takes a lot of practice to mix it like that, but when you have it like that, watch how fast I can slam this off without it falling all over the place. Mud. Real hot mud. This is five minute mud. They don't make a five minute mud, but I'm just, I put accelerators or accelerators in it to give it what I know to be five minutes. Again, Jason's been mixing for years, so he knows how to mix it just right. So, and if any of you guys try to do this, you say, like a lot of people do, man, I watched you do it, I dropped half of it. Or came off because it was too soupy. It takes time to learn how to even mix this mud. And I'm not talking about a month. It takes years. Now technically what I what I usually do is I'll tell on a video, well, I'm gonna go mess around and do some other stuff and come back to this. But I don't have no other stuff. It's this is it. We are all the way here in downtown just to do this little patch here. So, now granted, this is an inch and a half thick. Uh, it's tough to do this with, say, um, seven eighths of an inch, let alone an inch and a half. But anyway, so what we do is that. And I'm using my big, what that fella call a snow plow. This is your average child, it's a 12 by uh, 5. I like the big one here, just take practice. Um, 
Now, within five minutes, this will get hard. And just for the sake of showing off, I guess, I'm gonna say hi. That's just finished here. I'm pulling it upwards, getting all the water off because I just put it on. I don't want a lot of water. Generally, I will put this trowel or sponge float in the water. But if I put it in the water, I'm gonna wet what I've already got, make it a little tougher to set. So, starting off like that. And I'm feathering into the joints, feather into it. Feather into it, every which way. Feather downward. Now when it starts to drag, there's too much cement on there. Now I come down. Perfect. I come up. And this again is with quite a bit of mud. Got an uh, inch and a half. An inch and a half to hit it immediately like this. Is, uh, unless you know what you're doing and you know how to mix. One thing, I know how to spread and do all this, but uh, unless you know how to mix it right too. I couldn't do this if the mix wasn't proper meaning uh, a lot of luminite in it. Now technically, that's it right there. That's it. Uh, we're going to get cleaned up and get out of here. Uh, we are, again, all the way into that. San Mateo. There it is with hot mud and I doubt you guys will ever need to do hot mud. You'll have a hard enough time doing it with regular mud. Anyway, my name is Kirk. Jason, who mixed for me and broke everything out and holding the camera. Thank you folks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.